My name is Andrew Havens. I am a student here at California University of Pennsylvania. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Dave Chappelle. So let's just jump right in uh, with the introduction of Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle. Um, if you don't know who he is, uh, many people do, but if you don't, he is a world renowned, world famous comedian. Uh, he's been doing comedy for many, many years. He's very famous for his Chappelle show, which aired in the early 2000s. Um, he eventually left that show after two seasons, and we'll actually get to why, as it does relate to this presentation. But uh, to put it short, he is a comedic legend. He's an icon. He is up there with the likes of Seinfeld and Richard Pryor and the like. Um, so the reason that he's famous, world famous, uh, is what we'll get to in a second. Uh, he's more than just your average comedian. Specifically, Dave Chappelle uses two different techniques to deliver his message. Now, what is, what is his message? Well, his message is all about race and racism and prejudice. Obviously, race is something that Dave Chappelle has never been able to get away from. It's always been a part of who he is, part of what he identifies as, and uh, a part of his identity. So with that uh, comes a lot of different ways to deal with it. A lot of different ways to deal with internalized racism uh, from others, a lot of discrimination from others, oppression historically. And Dave Chappelle uses comedy, specifically these two techniques. These two techniques are stereotypes and punching up. So let's go over a little bit about what each one is. I'm sure you guys know what stereotypes are. I'm not going to get too deep into that. It's an overgeneralization about a, a, a group of people, right? It's a characteristic that most likely isn't completely true. But punching up in comedy is, is uh, a little bit more niche. So in comedy, there's punching up and there's punching down. Um, punching up is going after or attacking or making fun of the oppressor, right? So that's the person looking down on others. Uh, generally punching up in comedy is considered to be okay. So we'll see uh, in a second with examples from Dave Chappelle, punching up uh, to the police, the police being the people in the position of power here, right? So we'll get to that. So when we're talking about punching up, really we're talking about the underlying themes behind it, right? We're talking about racism and discrimination. We're talking about historical oppression, not even direct historical oppression, but maybe indirect, right? Dave Chappelle does this a lot. So with, I've picked uh, two skits that he uh, uses as examples here. Uh, why I don't call the police and talking to the police. Why I don't call the police is interesting. It's a, uh, it, it's a, a revealing tale. Now, of course, Dave Chappelle makes it very funny and makes it humorous and lighthearted, but essentially he tells the audience that he's too rich and he has too nice of a house to call the police because the police wouldn't believe that he owned the house that he owns and that they would arrest him if he ever called to say my house got robbed or vandalized or something he couldn't call the police now i'm not a comedian and i can't make that funny and he obviously does he does a great job but that's revealing um that's concerning because that's a unfortunate reality for many people not getting to rely on the people that you're supposed to be relying on out of fear. And by the way, Dave Chappelle does mention that he is afraid of police. Um, and he doesn't even spin that as a joke. That is just a straight statement from him that he is scared of police officers. The second skit, uh, talking to the police, really shows the disparity of how police treat white people versus black people. Again, punching up to the police, making them out as bigots and racists. Uh, as opposed to the previous sketch, why I don't call the police, making them out as just idiots, <laughs> calling them stupid and saying that they wouldn't know who robbed a house. They wouldn't, they wouldn't even try to look. They would just erect, arrest the, the first black man they saw. But in talking to police, he asserts that they're bigoted, that they are internally racist, and they uh, oppress black people, sometimes without even realizing. Uh, in the story, he has a white friend and they are both intoxicated, they both uh, are high, and they go to talk to the police, and the white friend, um, who does most of the talking, gets off scot-free, even though the police clearly realize that he's high. Nothing happens to this man, he gets off. Dave Chappelle is left stunned, and so is the audience. The audience laughs, but really, why they're laughing? 
is the concern here, right? Why is Dave Chappelle telling us this story? Why is Dave Chappelle punching up the police officers and calling them racist and calling them bigots? Because that's what he's experienced. That's his personal truth. And you get the audience to listen to you if you make that joke, right? If you make it humorous, if you make it comedic, people will listen. And that's what they do. Overall, punching up really just shows a disconnect between police and Black people. Of course, police are in the position of power. That goes for everybody. Um, but when Dave Chappelle uses punching up and ridicules police, he's really criticizing them and pointing out their flaws, right? Pointing out their flaws as, as they relate to the Black community. Let's move on to stereotypes. So obviously, of course, everybody knows what a stereotype is. Um, they, they make a complicated world very simple, right? That you're able to look at a world through smaller and smaller lenses of overgeneralized conceptions of people. And that makes the world simple to you. So stereotypes are obviously very common and very useful in, in humor. And Dave Chappelle is no stranger to that. Uh, I have two different examples. Uh, one, Black Santa Claus. He talks about if Santa Claus was a Black man, and he goes on to joke that the presents wouldn't come in on time and he would gamble away all his money and he's lazy and you know all, all stereotypes that are unfortunately associated with his race right um the reason i include this is because the stereotypes in this sketch are so exaggerated they're so put out there and they're so outlandish that the average person laughs at them for the right reason they laugh at it because it's so ridiculous. They laugh at it because it's not true, right? And that's the use of stereotypes. That's why Dave Chappelle left Chappelle's show in the early 2000s, because some of his audience were laughing at him, not with him. They were agreeing with the stereotypes that he was portraying, uh, which was not his goal. The second sketch, uh, my personal favorite out of my examples I've chosen, um, plane hijacking. He asserts that terrorists don't take black hostages which is of course very funny. You wouldn't think that they would care, uh, except at the very end where he imitates being at the White House and uh, a bunch of people answer the phone and they figure out that uh, the hostages in question are black people and they immediately hang up because they don't care. Now, of course, again, not a comedian. Dave Chappelle makes it very funny, um, but there's something to be said there, right? Uh, the, the stereotype is the white people, especially government, governmental people don't care about black people and don't care about his race. And that is a stereotype that is an overgeneralization, but there's also a tinge of truth to that because why else would he be joking about it? Of course, he's experienced that in the past. That's his life story is dealing with microaggressions and uh, oppression and discrimination from government officials. All in all, I think Dave Chappelle, of course, a comedic legend, uh, utilizes punching up and stereotypes to a T, and he uses them for the right reasons. Uh, he uses them to expose the raw relationship uh, between races and between power groups in this country, between classes in this country, uh, specifically police or white people or police's relationship with black people versus white people. He uses these stereotypes to break those barriers down, or at least attempt to. That's all I have. Thank you very much.